G'day guys, Ian from Cookies Critters and welcome back to Bearded Dragon TV. So if you are confused about what's the appropriate type of UVB lighting to use for your Bearded Dragon, guys stick around in this video we're going to discuss that very topic. Okay guys, so before we kick this video off, I'd like to ask everyone, uh, especially the newbies out there, please do us a favour, subscribe to the channel and turn on those post notifications, that way you're not going to miss a coming video. Uh, guys, look, along the way, if you are liking the content, please do us a favour, show us that you are enjoying what we're doing, hit that like button, and uh, stay tuned for further videos. Now guys, as I mentioned in, in the introduction, today we are talking all things UVB lighting. Now, Bearded Dragons, this little baby here. UVB is super critical for them to synthesize calcium into vitamin D3, which uh, optimizes their, uh, their bone health. Now, there's a lot of uh, UVB products on the market at the moment, and uh, we're gonna cover off on the compact screw type. We're gonna do the T8s and the T5 uh, long fluoro tubes. So guys, let's get started. Guys, a, uh, a very quick uh, UVB requirement and uh, dragon biology lesson here. Uh, so we use these uh, tables called the uh, Ferguson zones. Now they were created by Dr. Ferguson, a uh, herpetologist, who uh, did a lot of field research and a lot of uh, data collection as to uh, the, the basking temperatures, the, the basking times, uh, the UV index, etc., etc. And so. When he compiled all that data, he uh, produced what we run off today, which are the, uh, the Ferguson zones. So I'm going to uh, flick those zones up here, and uh, as we can see, there's four particular zones, uh, and in particular for uh, for little beardies, they fall in between zone three and zone four. Now, throughout the video, we're going to be discussing uh, UV index, right? So just like when you flick on the telly at night and you're watching the news and the uh, uh, the weather presenter comes on and starts talking about the uh, the UV index for tomorrow is going to be high, it's going to be 13, whatever. These guys here, as you can see in the uh, Ferguson zones here, they need a UV index between 2.9 and 7.4. Now, uh, you may think, okay, well these guys are desert dwelling, they're uh, you know, hot climates, uh, you know, right in the thick of the sun, but uh, these guys here, especially during the peak of the day, when the, uh, when the temperature is super hot and when the, uh, the UV index is at its hottest, uh, they will go and sort of do a, uh, like a cryptic bask where they will uh, have filtered UV light coming through the, uh, through the foliage of bushes and trees. Now, uh, that UV index we talked about, the 2.9 to 7.4, will be critical for you to remember uh, for you know, following this video through to the end, but uh, also when we actually explain how to uh, appropriately set up the zones for a UV gradient, uh, as well as a heat gradient in your uh, in your enclosure. So, guys, uh, let's kick off with the uh, the compact screw types. Okay, guys. So, with the uh, the compact screw type, we are talking about a, uh, a UVB 10.0, and uh, the data that we're going to be showing you is from the same globe, but used with different hardware. Now, we're talking about hardware for the uh, for the screw type, we're talking about different reflector domes. Now, there's heaps on the market at the moment and they come in various shapes and sizes. Uh, and all the different types of uh, domes that you can use will have a, uh, a varying influence on the uh, on the, the level of the UVB reaching your uh, your little dragon here. So guys, we're going to start off with the uh, a bare naked UVB with no uh, dome at all. Now guys, when we talk about a bare UVB globe, it uh, resembles a, a UV output. The shape is like an apple. Now there's no dome to uh, to concentrate it and to direct it down, so it ends up dissipating sideways. Now the uh, the issue with this is that the effective range is only between 14 and 25 centimeters. Now, if your little beardy is basking 30 centimeters away from the uh, from the UV globe, then uh, you're potentially not going to have enough, uh, or if at all zero donuts, you're going to have no UVB reaching your bearded dragon. 
Now, this is where the, the, the correct application, the correct hardware is super critical when it comes to designing your lighting configuration for your uh, little bearded dragons. So the next picture we're gonna put up here is a, uh, the same UVB 10.0, but now with a 10 inch dome. So guys, with the, uh, the, the 10 inch dome, we can clearly see that the, uh, the UVB is now concentrated and it's uh, more directed down to where the bearded dragon will be basking. Now, as we can see, the, uh, the usable UVB falls in a, uh, in a zone around about the 38 to 65 centimeters away from the end of the UVB globe. Now, once again, guys, where this becomes critical is your little beardy is basking 30 centimeters away from the, uh, from the UVB globe, and it's in an optimal position to, uh, to absorb that, that the high end of that uh, UVB rays. So up around that sort of 7.4, 7-ish UV index. So guys, the last dome that we're gonna talk about today is, uh, is an eight and a half inch dome. Now guys, as I said in the start, there's a heap of different variations with the, uh, the styles and the types of domes, but the uh, last one we're talking about is an eight and a half inch. Now guys, as you can see, the, uh, the concentration of the, uh, of the UV, effective UV range is, uh, is far more tapered. It's like a, uh, like a spot, like a flashlight, uh, far more directional, far more tapered and focused. Um, and if you have a, a set basking spot where your bearded dragon is basking, then uh, having a, uh, an eight and a half inch dome and funneling all that UVB into that one spot can be ideal. So guys, where this setup is, uh, is, is a great option is if you have a taller enclosure, uh, because the, uh, the minimum distance between your bearded dragon and the, uh, and the globe is 45 centimeters and it has a maximum reach of about 85, 86 centimeters. Now guys, where this becomes an issue is because it is so tapered, you're not gonna be achieving that, uh, that two thirds rule of uh, trying to have your uh, enclosure covered with UVB light. Now, uh, I did allude to this in the start of the video, a uh, bearded dragon does need a, a heat gradient, so a hot basking side and a cool spot so they can uh, escape and thermoregulate, but they also need to be able to uh, self-regulate with their UV index as well. They can't just always be in the maximum UV index. They need to be able to escape that into the shade. So guys, the next thing we're gonna talk about are the linear UVB tubes. Now, the old school UVB tubes were the T8s. Now, they were a one inch diameter, uh, you know, the large, thicker style UVB tubes. Now, uh, yes, there have been new globes released in the last couple of years that do have a higher output, and we'll discuss those very shortly. But so the T8s, uh, they still have their, their, their right place uh, as long as you have the right application for your bearded dragon. Now, once again, this comes back to the, uh, to the setup and the style of your enclosure. Uh, these UVB tubes, the T8s, are quite ideal, providing that you have a reflector and providing that it's undermount. So you've got the, the ceiling of the enclosure and you undermount the, uh, the UVB. If you try having a T8 on top of a mesh enclosure, the, uh, the mesh is gonna cut out between 30 and 50% of the usable UVB. Plus, you've got that extra height and that extra distance, that standoff between your uh, UV light and your little bearded dragon. So guys, low profile enclosures, undermounted uh, UV lighting situations can be ideal with the T8, but we'll show you a, uh, a little guide here and uh, that's gonna show you the, uh, the, the usable UVB range for a T8. So guys, like I said, low profile enclosures for bearded dragons, these things still have an application, right? We can see in the picture that the, uh, the graph shows us between a seven and a half and 20 centimeter effective UVB gradient. So what this means is the bearded dragon to get that 7.4 UV index needs to come all the way up to the UV line, like seven and a half centimeters away from the base of that line. Now the issue with having your bearded dragon so close to the UV light means they need to be that close to their basking light as well. Now, if you had a, uh, a basking light that was you know, 75, 100 watt, 125 watt, no bearded dragon is gonna get that close to the heat source because it's just far too hot. So then choosing the right basking light becomes important. You have to have a, uh, a lower wattage to uh, encourage these little guys closer to the basking spot, closer to the UVB. 
Okay, so for a transition rolling into the uh, comparison between the old school T8s and the new high output T5s, I've got a uh, side by side comparison here and it shows that the, uh, the, the T8 far underperforms the, uh, the newer high output T5s. Quick recap, the, uh, the T8s only had an effective UVI at seven and a half to 20 centimeters. But here with the, the T5s, and once again, it is the same length tube, the T5s effective UV range is between 24 centimeters and 47 centimeters. Now guys, both of these hardwares both have reflectors, uh, therefore the, uh, the UV is concentrated. But we can see that the, uh, the range for the T5 has almost doubled, if not tripled, in some aspects from the, the low end to the high end of the, uh, the UV index. And guys, so there we have it, the T5s. We've got a, uh, an image coming up here which shows the, uh, that the, a T5 without a reflector can still be underperforming. Okay guys, so in this direct comparison, we can see that the, uh, the T5 without a reflector almost performs identically to a T8 with a reflector. Now, the, the two T5s side by side, one without, one with, you can see that the, uh, the UVB T5 with the reflector is uh, sitting between that 24 to 47 centimeters, which for a, uh, a two foot tall bearded dragon enclosure is ideal. Now guys, once again, we're gonna uh, show you in real time what that all means, but uh, essentially you don't want your bearded dragon getting within 24 centimeters from that UV line. Otherwise, the, uh, the UV index is gonna be far too high and it's gonna be potentially dangerous for the health of your bearded dragon. Okay guys, so here's a, uh, a very crude diagram of how the, uh, the UVB distribution works. Now, as we can see up here, we've got a, a naked compact screw type. Now, you know, for an example, this is a uh, 10.0 UVB, and uh, as we can see, we have the, uh, the maximum UV index, which is the uh, 7.4, and then coming down to the compact screw minimum, which is the, uh, the UVB index of uh, 2.9. So what that means is for your bearded dragon to get the, uh, the most of the UVB, where is it, come on. Your little beardy needs to be basking all the way up here, all right? At that 14 centimeters away from the, uh, from the UVB which is fine, providing you're only using maybe a 40 watt basking line. Now, anywhere from this range down to the 25 centimeters away, your bearded dragon is still getting effective UVB. Now that being said, if your bearded dragon is any lower than this point here, so down on the actual substrate, then uh, they've actually got that UVI, the UV index gradient of zero. Okay guys, so the, uh, the next demo is for the, uh, the T8 with a reflector, right? So we can see that the, uh, the maximum UV index for a bearded dragon is up here at seven and a half centimeters away from the UV fitting. So he needs to be tucked up almost right underneath that, uh, underneath that UVB line. Now, the, uh, the furthest he can be away or she can be away is down here at 20 centimeters. Now, once again, super critical for a two foot tall enclosure. So anything further away from uh, the UV tube, greater than 20 centimeters, and your bearded dragon's not gonna have any uh, effective UVB, okay? So guys, your, uh, your correct lighting, your correct basking spot um, is really important to, uh, to plan before you start your build and before you get your bearded dragon. Okay, so the, uh, the next demonstration we have is a, uh, a T5. Now this is a 24 watt T5 and it shows here that the uh, the T5, the maximum UV, so the, the, the UV index of 7.4 is already down at this level. So you want your bearded, dra uh, your bearded dragon basking at this level, no higher. Any higher than this is it puts them into a, uh, a dangerous UV index. Now you may think, well, my heat source, my basking spot's all the way up here, but I can only have my dragon down there. 
well then you need to increase the wattage of your globe to uh, encourage your bearded dragon to stay at this level okay now that being said the uh, the maximum drop for the uh, for the t5 with a uh, reflector is all the way down here at 47 centimeters okay so that in this situation is realistically only about uh, 10 centimeters off the uh, off the substrate level so ideal as soon as it's on the substrate off uh, off screen now then uh, your bearded dragon is in a uv index of zero okay guys so uh there you have it that's the end of our uh our explanation of using the right uvb globes or tubes for your enclosure now guys there's heaps of data out there uh, i highly encourage everyone before they purchase any globe to uh, do thorough research. Uh, research the, um, the manufacturer, have a look at their tech data sheets. Uh, they should have a, uh, a similar UV lighting diagram to, uh, to one of these, right? These will allow you to, to plan your build, to, to buy the right style enclosure, the right hardware, and the right globes. Guys, I hope you enjoyed today's content. I hope you found it informative. If you did, guys, please do us a favor, drop some comments down below, let us know what we're doing well and uh, hopefully what we need to improve on. Uh, guys, if you haven't already done so, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel and turn on those post notifications. Give that like button a big old smash. And uh, as always, guys, if you got them, keep your beard treated and your beard is heated.